there was an author who published a book and he wrote empty tomb is not proof that somebody rose from the dead therefore there is no resurrection would you accept that would we Catholics accept that if there is no resurrection everything is useless you do not even have to come to mass if Jesus did not rise from the dead because what body and blood are we talking about the body and blood of a person who is dead we come to Mass because we believe that the body and blood of the person we are celebrating, commemorating, is the body and blood of a person alive who rose from the dead. If we discredit the resurrection, then everything is useless. We, according to St. Paul, we are the most wretched of all believing in something that is actually a farce, a fraud. But many brothers and sisters, our belief in the resurrection is not based on an empty tomb. What man ta nagsalig sa empty tomb as proof that Jesus rose from the dead? Our belief in the resurrection is based on the appearances of Jesus. He appeared to the three disciples on their way to Emmaus. He appeared to the apostles. They're locked up in the room. He appeared to Simon. And we believe that he also appeared to the Blessed Virgin Mary. These are the basis of our faith that he rose from the dead. Our faith in the resurrection is not based on the empty tomb. It is based on encounter, on relationship. Now let me ask you, what is the basis of your faith? Some people, their faith are based on an empty tomb. And so, they come to God only when they feel empty. Nga naman sa nano nga, lami kay iampo ka nang nag-uul bitaw ta? Kana bitaw tang dako tag problema, nya luhod na yung tagikan di aspultahan, di rin niya hilak-hilak na yung to, Lord. Pero why problema? Wa may lami sa di ampo. Nga naman sa nato, wa may lami iampo. Kan yung problema ta lami ka ihilak sa altar ginuhod <laughs> paluiloy pang naong ni Jesus ay gubago paluiloy ba nay problema Dios ko Dios <laughs> og way problema disco disco wa gyud ginuo sige dito mabuntagan sa inanan mabuntagan pero pa problema ha di ba magsige naghilak-hilak sa ginuo that is the kind of faith based on an empty tomb. They come to God only when their pockets are empty, when their bank accounts are empty, when their lives are empty, and when they're loveless and nobody, they're abandoned. That's the time they come to God. But what kind of relationship do you speak of when you only come to God in time of need? You are treating God as a vendor machine. You go to the vendor machine when you need something, you just put the coin and you expect an output. And some of us are like that. They come to God, put some three to four, five Hail Marys, and expect to get three to four our fathers, Hail Marys, glory to the Father, and they expect product to come out of their own design. And when nothing comes out, then they abandon God and look for another God. Is that faith? That kind of faith is based on the theology of the empty tomb. Our faith should be based on relationship with Jesus. How is your relationship with God? Is it getting strong? Now some people, instead of getting closest to God when they are in crisis, ang uban mang luod, uy, mupalayo. Mang luod. Mo na tanay time nga mupaduol kas ginoo kay you really need God. Ang uban na, mamuyboy pas ginoo. Kami gadunit ang chandelier, nga naman yung ginoong nga kuwana ni, kami nagkuwana na, napaiskwela may pare, nagpaiskwela may madre, nga naman yung naiunani, may oong, namuy boy kas ginoo. Kagisam din ng kwarta, imo din na. O gwa ka i-bless sa ginoo be, wakay good health. Makatigom sa kakagdaghang kwarta. Kanang imo gipalit og chandelier, gadunit sa inyong kapilya, imo din na. Ikaw na ning kamot ana, pero gwa ka gi-bless ni God. Matagaan ka ka ana, makatigom ka ka ana. Namuyboy ka sa ginoo. What do you have that does not belong to God? You know what we have that does not belong to God? Sin, that's our only 
possession sa ragi ato nga mangyong ato ang uban ana sa ginuo na na back to the question what is the basis of your faith is it based on a resurrected god is it based on a god who is alive prove it prove it show to the people that god is alive in you that god be the hands of christ to reach out to the people in need be the feet of Christ to walk to the people that needs your presence and your assistance. Be the voice of Christ that preaches love, mercy, compassion, and forgiveness. Only then will people say, This man, Spain, is based on a God who is alive. Then you will proclaim the resurrection day in and day out.